conferred with every man in the platoon. Even if we sent everyone we have, we couldn't strike the Brotherhood effectively. Then you see my point. A combined operation might have a chance. You didn't say you had visitors. What are you doing here? We haven't seen a new face in weeks. How did you make it past the Hailstorm Raiders? What's going on here? Captain Biron is here attempting to solve a mutual problem. A group of white mob pirates called the Hailstorm Brotherhood. They are savages, frankly. Cultists and marauders from some other ice planet that came to Hoth to test their limits. They hunt and murder those who cannot survive in the cold as they do. Republican Imperials alike. What are you thinking? Nobody's worse than the Imperials. I'll take that as a compliment. But the Hailstorm Brotherhood have proven otherwise, with acts too depraved to list. The Brotherhood have cut our outpost resupply lines and are picking off anyone that ventures into the snow. If we don't join forces, they'll whittle us down until we leave our outposts in search of food. Then we die. How does that compare to being betrayed at some critical point by the enemy? Without help, our deaths are a certainty. Anything is better. What we need is for someone to bait a trap. If we fire a distress flare out on the ice, the Brotherhood will come running to attack. When that happens, my squad can surround them and wipe them out. All the bait would need to do is last until they arrive. If you stab me in the back, I'll shoot you in the face. I assure you, if I wanted to ambush the Republic, I've already had plenty of opportunity. Here's the distress flare. Fire once if all is as planned. Twice if the Imperial help isn't enough. Good luck out there. The Brotherhood knows that ice better than their own backsides. Did it. I haven't seen that many dead Brotherhood since we first came to the planet. Agreed. It was efficacious. I'll assume that was the Imperial equivalent of enthusiasm, Captain. It was. My scouts are in pursuit of the fleeing Brotherhood now. We'll see what they find. They're on the run. What could your troops possibly learn? We know we hurt them. The question is, is it enough to prevent future attacks? Snow Raptor, this is Hatchling. Come in, Snow Raptor. Go ahead, Hatchling. We spotted the remainder of the enemy force entering the Ice Fortress. Coordinates attached. If the remainder of their force is grouping at the Ice Fortress, they've been badly hurt. It's time to finish them. The captain's right. We're not going to get this chance again. I'm not giving this group a centimeter of purchase. They're all going down. All right. Our priority target is Master Sav. A cult without its beloved leader is a beast without its head. Sav is a legend among the Brotherhood. We stranded him in the snow once, and left him for dead in Wampa country. He strangled one with a torn-torn femur, and skinned it with his own claws. He showed up in the Ice Fortress weeks later, quite alive. Now remember that story next time I'm a Wampa. The point is, Master Sav is not to be underestimated. We'll need you spearheading the attack on him, while we secure the fortress. We will split into multiple squads, then meet up again in the audience hall. Be warned. The hall is a defensible area. They'll move the big guns there once they know we're attacking. Nothing like artillery to get the blood pumping. Undoubtedly. Meet with Sergeants Cacho and Enlicker inside the fortress. Their men will reinforce you as you push to the audience hall. Go quickly. Let's not give them time to get back on their feet.
Sergeant Enlicker reporting in, sir. We've received little resistance so far. Sergeant Cacho reporting in, sir. You got here just in time for the fighting. These here are your unit. Straight on to the audience chamber. We'll fan out to intercept reinforcements. Time to show these nuts the nutcracker. Right. Taking point. Sir, now that they're gone, do you seriously expect them to be allies? I'm waiting for the moment when they betray us. Good. Because mark my words, it's gonna happen. They've got Captain B-Ron leading them. I've heard all about him back in the day when I was captured. Likes ambushes, he does. You think he'll make this move soon? He wants the fortress. Once they capture it, they're gonna take the turrets and turn them on us. The safe thing to do is, as soon as the Brotherhood is broken, take down Biron's men and grab him as a prisoner. It wouldn't take much. He's back at the base alone, and this lot will fold if we pull it on them surprise-like. Spread the word, then, and wait for my signal. I'll go keep an eye on that sergeant. You take the boys here. Isn't this a surprise? The Republic and Imperials all bound together. What's wrong? Getting cold? Need to share body heat? Guess I'll take that as a compliment. Your humor masks fear. Fear that one day, people will realize they need neither Empire nor Republic. And your death is one more step on the road to pure liberation.
That's the room, gentlemen. Take the turrets and secure the perimeter. All units, find an Imperial. Reinforce their positions with small arms. Move out. This is the time. Don't let them dig in. Now! Glad you saw through the Imperial's ambush. Lieutenant Kiro will want to hear every detail. Move a muscle, Captain Biron, and you will be shot. Take his weapon. Is this how the Republic treats its allies? You have more in common with the Sith than you realize. I had no knowledge of this plan, Captain. But once begun, it would be suicide not to follow it through in all its aspects. He's only complaining because he couldn't betray us first. Betray you? What good would that have done us? Another costly fight when we're at less than half strength. The words mean little at the moment, prisoner. Take him away. That was unpleasant. I never got the impression he was as sadistic as the other Imperials. He would have turned on you in a second. It is one thing to know that intellectually, and another to believe it with the whole heart. We have defeated the Hailstorm Brotherhood today, and acquired a valuable Imperial captive. It's hard to be sour with that. Well, the Hailstorm Brotherhood's come to an end, and we have no other crisis breathing down our necks. I almost feel relaxed. It's been an honor to serve with you. Be careful out there. Kanaja, ki nama bam, yak manala, yon perlu amka, kalami nayakira, nebua ripo. Raga memua inu bunyan, kemapa amka namia. Perfect, just perfect. Nulilak apa jam kamgam, amka nem nang, ampa nem nang memua inok, nibekap kamka, kakyam, klak nemo amia kalak. Raka Kalam Kara, Ninia Oramag Yang Migik. Why can't you handle this on your own? Mem Amak Kupka, Kramanik, Umnu Kiga Mayamak. Nulilak Apa Jam Kamgam, Amka Nem Nang, Ampa Nem Nang Memua Inok, Mem Kanaya Nugan, Kinim Nayalak Umnug Mege.
Mission complete. Lumen Pamian, Bimar Bimar Kimulai, Kam Ino Memnu, Najanaya Ankam Mimik Miraka. Laboram Anka, Mamni Nikal, Nagnaya Mamni Kamgam. Kava Dumpa Stupa, Mankinza. Wama oto jako ga huta pawa to bampa wula fa guta ji oto endia. There's nobody I can't handle. No, kava ja ulnui kus ji punyo. Maguli ji wanta hompa, muli ra wata wompa. Si se kava kaya topa, pu banda baka wonki. Sounds shady to me. Uba niboba cheparasto. Butuana uba kili wata punky danko padoga lola. Butuana uba kili wata punky danko padoga lola. What's the plan? No, kava ja ulnui kus che punyo. Mukini makolunki ne ad am bumpa bushuda. Amu into und magisa mi tisa taparena. I don't like this, but it's our only option. Kaba tuto omishka kaba no tes mawetia uno bongo wa wune kupa tonti tok makitoni. Koko ti choski na wi kuchusi yomata chi pompota.
eat this! Kadwashimiko Higa Danulia. 